Welcome to iLecture Online. With this particular example, we don't have much of a choice. It looks like we're just going to have to multiply everything out, move everything over to one side, and then try to factor. So let's do that. So first, we're going to multiply the 3x times the x and the 7, and then we're going to multiply the negative 10 with the x and the 7. So on the left side, we end up with 3x squared plus 21x minus 10x and minus 70 equals minus 76. Then we move everything over to one side, so we get 3x squared plus 21x minus 10x minus 70 plus 76 equal to zero. And now we just simply add the common terms. And when we do that, we end up with 3x squared plus 11x plus six equal zero. And now we're ready to factor this. Because we don't have a one in the front here, we don't have a one for the x squared term, we may want to use the FOIL method. So when we take the FOIL here, we have three and one, or one and three. And then we multiply that times the combinations to give us six. So since everything is positive, we just only need the positive values, we have six and one, we have three and two, two and three, and one and six. So one of these combinations will give us the proper middle term. Notice we need an 11x here. So uh, three times two, one times three. Hmm, how about three times three? Maybe that might work. So I'm going to try this combination with this combination and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. But the reason why I chose that because three times three gets me very close. That's nine and I want an 11, so that probably will work. So let's try that. Three times three plus one times two. This is equal to nine plus two, which is 11. And sure enough, that does give me the middle term. So I have the right combination. So x plus three, three x plus two is the proper factored form. So here we have 1x plus 3, and here we have 3x plus 2. Now we can go ahead and realize that since we have the product of two binomials and they give us a result of 0, that means that x plus 3 must equal 0 or 3x plus 2 must equal 0, which means in one case we have x equals negative 3 as one possible solution or we have 3x equals negative 2, or x equals negative 2 thirds. And there's the other possible solution. So either x equals negative 3, or x equals negative 2 thirds. And that is how it's done.